welcome. Uh, we are at uh, Tully Digital Print Display Solutions. We're a large format uh, commercial print service provider. Today we're going to touch on wallpaper, the versatility thereof, the process of producing it, and what machinery we use to put it all together. Uh, I'll just grab an ad hoc image, for instance, this one over here. We would then select the image, check the output size, and then send it through to the printer. The printer would then start processing the print panel for us. So once the operator has clicked print on the rip, the data is then sent through to the printing machine. As you can see, the image that was on the rip comes up on the printing machine. We can then check the size of the panel, make sure everything adheres to the job ticket. The print operator will then stand in front of the machine for the initial job as it starts up to make sure all the colors are coming through correctly and the job is printing nicely and sharp. Uh, and then that takes a couple of minutes depending on the size, it can take a couple of hours. Uh, really, it really depends on the size of the wallpaper job and how many square meters are involved. And once it comes out of the machine, it will go right up onto his take up. That enables us to keep the print absolutely clean and make sure there's no contamination from the floor. And it then goes through to cutting where we then process it into the correct amount of panels for the crew to go in and install on your site. So when, when attempting a wallpaper installation and job for a particular client, there are a couple of steps involved. We like to go out to the site to see the site. There are a lot of things that you need to take into consideration like plug, placement, plug placements, fire hydrant placements, all these things need to be trimmed out or, or to be compensated for when you're doing a visual. Especially when the creative has a visual with live type in it, critical fonts, logos, something the client really doesn't want to lose and they don't want a plug point cutting into it. So we then need to imposition the images differently to make it all work. So really a site assessment is, in my eyes, absolutely critical to see that it's correct, or at least the center photo thereof, so you can see what's involved on the installation. Once you've got all that information and the correct sizing, we print the images with bleed to allow for a little bit of movement left and right for the installers to make life easier for them. And also wall surface is critical. If you're dealing with a bad wall full of cracks, imperfections, holes, those imperfections and cracks and holes will come through in the wallpaper. If a, a, a wall has been newly built and it is still busy settling, there are also chances that that will settle and crack and pull the wallpaper. And these are things to be very, very wary of. Uh, paint is another factor involved in wallpaper. Uh, if a client has used a really bad substandard paint or a cheap contractor's paint, typically when you apply the wallpaper and you make the trimming and you lift it, they could have a problem where the paint actually lifts with it. And uh, there's no coming back from that. You have to start again and resurface it and repaint it. Uh, if you're going to put wallpaper on, if you just smoothen out the wall, you actually don't even need to paint the wall. You could put the wallpaper right over it. But surface preparation is very, very important. The print has been taken off the machine. As you can see, it's got reg dots. We use these reg dots for the zunt so that the zunt can read the print and know where to actually cut the job. Mm -hmm. 